Okay, so we are ready to go here. Let's go and hit one. Okay, there's your normal flame. Let's hit two. Okay, is that actually working? I don't, I don't really know. Oh, it does work! Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs. And today we are back with the brand new update. Now, if you missed it, we had a short episode yesterday where we just went over some of the basics of the update. We kind of touched on everything, but we never really dug in and really explored some of the new possibilities with the update. Now, do keep in mind, the update isn't experimental, so you have to opt into it in order to receive the update. So, first things first, you're probably wondering, well, what are you driving in there, Komodo? Uh, this is the 1978 Decker Rancher by Car Crusher Creative, and he had to send this over to me special because you can't actually upload when you're in an experimental uh, to the workshop. And this actually contains one of the new pieces that you're going to see in the updates. This little slanted piece here, or curved piece, I should probably say. And yeah, it's on the undercarriage here, on the bumpers. It's going to add a whole new layer of vehicle detail. I mean, if you were watching Brick Rigs when it first came out, you probably never would have thought that, man, we're going to get to this level of detail as far as the vehicles. This is absolutely fantastic. So uh, whenever the update goes live, I'm pretty sure you'll see this actually on the workshop. So I do want to thank him for sending this over. A uh, gorgeous truck. Uh, we'll probably drive it around here more in the future. You know, I'm not even going to burn it. I think it's that beautiful. We're not burning this at all. Well, actually, I should probably stick the parking brake on it. So what we're going to be covering here today, we're actually going to be playing with fire, which I know that sounds kind of wrong, but... You guys actually went crazy over how the fire works, and you wanted to see stuff like tower survival, more burning buildings, just trying to feel for how this works, and I think we're going to try to modify several things. Uh, I've got some ideas in my head. So, we're looking at that. Now, what's over there? You actually saw a red car behind me, but there's another red car over here, and I got to give a uh, shout out to War Challenger. Uh, this is a CG remastered sports car, and this is actually from an old challenge me and Moombo did. And we made very ugly cars. This is what I wish I could have made. And he actually remastered these. These things are absolutely fantastic sports car. He actually did the dragster too, which we'll probably have to check that out. But I, I felt pretty comfortable taking this creation and adding something to it. And we've added a flamethrower. Now the way this thing works, it actually feeds off the same fuel that the engine's taking. So this thing burns through fuel like crazy. Uh, realistically, you want to add some gas tanks to these. But... Uh, it's very fun to use. Like, I've been addicted to doing this. And uh, we've got our first little target here. We've got Dob. How you doing, Dob? Everything going good over there? Hold on, let's go ahead and ease in. Get a little close to him here. There we go. So what I'm going to do here, let's go ahead and put the uh, parking brake on. All right, we are ready to go. All right, Dob, are you ready? I th think he's ready. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Uh... <laughs> Yes! And he is on fire. So, oh, that was actually... Wow. Okay, I didn't expect for him to combust like that. You know, we better drive away from this. So, <laughs> yeah, that's just one of the new features. This whole burning, this flamethrower thing, it's got so many possibilities to it. And yesterday, I was mesmerized when we burned a, a theater. It actually looked really cool. So, my thought process was, let's go ahead and light some stuff on fire real quick and see kind of what it takes. Now, what we're using here, this is an X-Game Wolf Tower. Uh, you've probably seen this from the Tower Survival episodes. I'm about to blow up here. Uh-oh, let's go ahead and back this off over here. So we're going to kind of observe this fire because I picture being able to modify uh, things, adding maybe flamethrowers inside of the buildings to light them on fire, and just overall getting a real crazy looking tower survival going. I mean, we've always had the fire starters, which they are pretty good. Oh, is this thing... Really? Is the structure already compromised? Look at that. Look how it's spreading. Yeah, it seems like the fire lasts a lot longer, and it burns different depending on the materials, I believe. But, man, it just looks so much better now. It's like how it spreads. And I could keep using the flamethrower and actually catch other portions on fire. It does get a little laggy, but it isn't experimental, so it's probably being optimized a little bit. But, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You gonna go? Should I light some more of it on fire, folks? Oh, man. Could you imagine just placing flamethrowers in the tower, adding some fuel tanks, turning it on, and starting to run out? There's so many possibilities for tower survival. There's actually possibilities for everything. We could have battles, uh, races with the flamethrowers. Uh, there's a ton of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and light this side back on fire here. 
Now this is fine. There's a lot of things we gotta burn here today. Uh, are we almost out of fuel? I need to check the gauge here in a second, huh? And I keep resetting it, so it should be good. Uh, let's go and light this side on fire, too. There we go. All right. Oh, there it goes. The fire has finally gotten to it. It is weak. Man, it would have just taken a couple flamethrowers at the bottom of this tower to take it down. That is amazing looking. All right, so I'm actually really excited. I've got some ideas now. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let's remove this. But, yeah, I do want to thank Car Crusher. Uh, for giving me the truck and then War Challenger for of course creating an awesome CG sport Which I think I'll probably use in like a race video here soon, but uh, let's go ahead and set something else up here All right, so I'm actually in the editor here. You see this is the XFS tower So I have an idea here. So what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and grab the flamethrower so it's this brick here and Can I put this on the floor on that scalable? Is that okay? So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add some of these, maybe just to the corners. And then I'm going to, should I, no, I'm going to leave them all white here and then we'll uh, paint them afterwards. But I'm going to line them up in corners on a couple of the floors. I'm going to add fuel tanks probably out of the danger zone, that way we just don't immediately blow it up. And I'm going to see if we can activate this thing. I'll probably move the seat down to the bottom and see if we can just catch the whole thing on fire. That way we can just spawn up there and run down. So it kind of eliminates the fire starter that we used to use. And I think, obviously, the fire is just going to be way more intense. Okay, so we are ready for test one. So I did modify the X Game Wolf Tower, which normally I don't like to modify people's creations. I definitely won't be re-uploading anything, even though I can't at the moment since it's an experimental. But you can see what I've done here. I've got flamethrowers on a couple of the floors, and I do have tanks up at the top of this building. That way, it's got some sort of fuel supply. So if I hold one, check this out. Boom. There we go. Alright, let's go and release. Look at that. Holy man, that might be too quick. Oh, I was wanting to put more on. Oh, no. Okay, do we think we can make it out of that? Um, maybe we should stick one in the center. That way it affects the stairwells. I mean, it's really up to you where you place those. It's a lot easier than trying to do those fire starters. Because those things are a little bit unpredictable. I mean, this is still unpredictable because it's fire, but... I actually kind of like this. So I think we're going to attempt a tower survival here. So if I were just to leave this wide open and jump out. Okay, they're they're wide open right now. So I'm going to stand up here. Okay, I'm going to get out of God mode. Turn the help menu. Oh, actually, there we go. Out of God mode. All right, so let's give this a little run here and see if we can do some survival. All right, they're wide open. Oh, geez, they're burning. Okay, so it looks like it's kind of just stopping as far as the scalables there. It's not really too weak. Uh, keep running, keep running. No, nope, not bad. Okay, we might have to add more. We might have to get a lot more aggressive with this, okay? No, clear path down to the uh, stairwell. So, tower survival with flamethrowers. It's going to depend on where these are going to need to be. I think this... Oh, jeez. This might work a little better without the scalables. This might work better in a tower that's morally just bricks. Uh, this is a multiplayer friendly tower. Let me modify this one one more time. We'll give it one more run and then we might move to a tower that's made out of less scalables uh, just to see the different effects of the fire here. I mean, indeed, it did quite a bit of damage, but that was pretty easy. All right, folks. So we've added some extra flamethrowers. This is totally going to work. So let's go whoop, wide open. Okay, it's definitely catching the stairs on fire now. Oh, the sound. It just gets more aggressive. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, here we go. Tower survival time. Okay, we gotta hop the stairwell here. Oh, jeez. Okay, this isn't. Oh, this is actually really bad. Hold on. Okay, watch. Avoid the flames here. Okay. Oh, did they. Oh, they ran out of fuel already. Okay, I didn't add enough tanks up there. It's fine, though. It's still on fire. That's the good thing. Uh, the center part still seems pretty unscathed, even with the added flamethrowers to the stairs. Uh, it's not bad. Uh oh. Okay, just as I said that, the bottom of the tower is collapsing. Wait, still sounds like some of the flamethrowers are active. Hold on. Uh, oh, jeez. Okay, I need to get down. This is a burning piece. Mm, no, okay, okay. Get up here. Uh, that's going to be quite a bit of a jump here. Here we go. No, I bounced off. Oh, I'm good. Oh, you're not going to swear that would have killed me. Hold on, I'm at the... Uh-oh. Oh, no, we can't get out of here, can we? Oh, and we're gonna have to go out. Oh, we can just walk out this, can't we? All right, make another jump here. Actually, that's a burning piece. Uh, use this as a ramp, slide down, clear the fire. Oh, okay, there we go. 
All right, that is still not too bad. That's cool though. I like the fact that we can do that now. Man, if you guys have any ideas for tower survival, there's a little bit more possibility here with the fire. Uh, let's go ahead, let's pull out another one. Let's find something with a little less scalables real quick. All right, folks, we're going big here. I think I'm morally making a bomb right now. So these are the tanks uh, that's gonna carry the fuel for the flamethrowers. I found another one of X Game Wolf's towers. Uh, this one seems to have far less scalable bricks. Now keep in mind, this tower is still close to 5,000 bricks. So it's probably gonna lag quite a bit, so either the game's gonna maybe crash, or it's gonna run bad, I don't know. You never know, maybe it'll surprise us though. I hope fire doesn't get to this top part, because if it does, the whole building I think is gonna be done. Alright, let's do this. Alright, this is either gonna be the most satisfying thing we've ever done, or it's just gonna end one big explosion of lag. Here we go, three, two, one, light it up. Oh no, that's a lot. Oh, I think I've already died, huh? What happens when I go back here? Okay, we're good. All right, so it is burning and it is lagging right now. Oh, no. Oh, that sounds horrible. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's not these first couple of... Never mind. Uh, okay, let's use this stairwell here. Okay, watch out for burning pieces. I don't know how the burning pieces uh, affect Bob. Do we still catch on fire and die even if the pieces just burnt? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes that seems like that would happen. Oh, this sounds insane. Okay, the building structurally is actually handling it way better than I expected, though. Like, it is not falling over. It's even not... I wouldn't say it's that laggy. Like, I think we've done far worse. Oh, on this... Okay, wait, no. Where do we go from here? Uh, side staircase. Okay, let's go here. Uh, the building seems to... Be, hold on. Are we losing anything? Oh, look at the fire down there. Oh, geez, there's actually I wonder if there's a limit to flames like can it be infinite? I don't know. There's flames everywhere right now. All right. This is fine. Uh, oh, oh, almost fell off that. Okay, not bad. Not bad. We're trying to find the balance here folks like do we want a really big tower? Or do we want a smaller one with the flames being closer? I need to get by this flamethrower uh, uh, Jump here. Okay, so apparently I definitely had enough fuel uh, I think we need to go to the other one here. Yeah, you can see the fire is even kind of flickering there. I don't think it knows what to do. I think we've maybe pushed it a little too far here <laughs> with the flamethrowers. Uh, jump down here. How is this thing not falling apart, though? That's the thing that's amazing to me. It could just be very, very good tower design, but we have made it to the... Like, look at that. This whole side is just engulfed in flames right now. Uh, anything? Any parts? No. Wait. Ah, here it goes. It's starting. Oh, it's starting to buckle now. It just took it a little bit. Hmm. Interesting. Look at this. This is so awesome. So you can see the different sections that are, are burning up. I almost think you need one explosion. Like to almost trigger and make the building a little bit, I would say, uh, vulnerable, I should say. Repeat this line vulnerable uh, make it to where something's loose and maybe the rest of it so maybe we can do a triggered bomb with the flame throwers I've got an idea here all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create an explosion down here in the uh, lobby I don't know how fast these tanks burn uh, that's actually a really good question so what I'm gonna do uh, where's my tank piece I think it's way up there isn't it all right come down here mr. tank so I'm gonna modify this we're gonna stick a cluster of tanks here uh, you know, let's go maybe a little bit more in the middle of the building, maybe right here. So let's go ahead and copy a couple of these over. Okay, these have rocket fuel in them, by the way. So it's a different fuel than what I have in the other tanks. I don't wonder if I should just adjust the fuel. I mean, technically, we could put rocket fuel in all of these. I didn't think about that. Maybe we should change that. That's going to be our second test, or I should say, I don't know what test we're really on here. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a flamethrower here. So we'll put the flamethrower up against, and let me make sure I can do this. I might need to get a redirector here. Uh, let me see if I can just plant it here. I guess it doesn't matter. We can really put it in the next floor. It should affect it, maybe, Han. Or we could stick it on the roof, possibly. Okay, so let's see if this will stick. There we go. All right, so we got a flamethrower. So as soon as I hit, you know what? We're gonna trigger this different. We're gonna put this to two. Uh, it's gonna have the same fuel supply as the tanks on top. 
These are rocket fuel, so it's a little more flammable, which I think we'll switch the whole building over here in a second. So let's go ahead and spawn this out. So two is the bomb, hopefully, and one are the normal flamethrowers. Okay, so we are ready to go here. Let's go ahead and hit one. Okay, there's your normal flame. Let's hit two. Okay, is that actually working? I don't, I don't really know. Oh, it does work. Okay, so the bomb method works. So I shot fire and it, okay, it did a fair bit of damage. I don't wonder if we should have just coated the whole floor with them. I know that sounds bad, but I don't know if this was enough. You know, okay, we know it works. The bomb, I could easily line up the rest of the floor just to weaken one whole floor here and keep the rest of it burning with the flame doors. But question is, is the rocket fuel more intense? If we were just to switch to straight rocket fuel, would this whole building burn down? Man, I like testing this stuff out. All right, so final go around with the tower survival here. I might have made the bomb a little more toasty on the inside. So here we go. Let's go ahead and do regular flamethrowers. All right, bomb portion is ready to go. Waiting for it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah. I told you guys it's a little bigger bomb. Okay, so this is the attempt here. We're gonna go up to the top. Uh, I'm thinking maybe that... Wow, really? Oh, hon, can we survive? Oh, it landed, hon, oh, step out here. We actually were a part of the collapsing floor. So is that the formula? Maybe plant a couple bombs, have the flamethrowers going? That might be the, uh, the perfect uh, mix here for, uh-oh. Oh, that's a set of tanks. I don't want to be near these. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, that one's on fire. Okay, this is definitely a lot better. Okay, so let's see. We can go down this staircase. Man, oh, no, I'm weighing this one down. Look at that. This thing is slowly moving down. Okay, wait for it to move down. Oh, those stairs. Wait, all the stairs are on fire. That's not good. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't know why there's more explosions. I only planted one big bomb down there. Okay, watch out. You know, it very well could be the uh, the flamethrower pieces themselves are actually, uh, they're exploding. That might be a thing. Uh, hold on, keep going. Okay, the staircases are gonna switch here. Okay, this whole, wait, which floor is the stable floor? Like, a couple of these floors are actually, look at the ceiling. A couple of the floors are actually moved out. Uh, okay, I think we're on a stable piece. Okay, watch out for the flames. Okay, jump, there we go. All right, so let's get down. Oh no. Oh no, that's not pretty. Okay, look down, how's the stair? Wow, okay, we're not going down that staircase. Okay, let's run over here. That might be, is that a roof? No, that's not a roof piece, it's just moved down a little bit. All right, you know, surprisingly for how many bricks there are, there is a little bit of lag. It's not too bad though, so I'm pretty much enjoying this. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, that one's on fire too. Wait, let's use this. We can go down these cracks, I think. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, uh, James Bond, jump, jump, jump. No, okay, there we go. All right, well, let's go ahead. I think we could slide down this actually. So let's go boom. Ooh, okay, uh, I thought we were gonna die there. Uh, and can we make it out? Is this, can Bob fit through this? Yes, look at that, we made it. All right, I'm only thinking of the different things that we're gonna wind up doing with all this stuff. Oh, look at the tower. It looks really weird now. You know, it doesn't look completely destroyed. It's like some of the floors just collapse themselves on the other floors. Like, I think that piece there was actually a roof piece. Yeah, you can clearly see where that came down from. That is awesome. You know, I, we really need to blow up that other part. Hold on, let's blow up this top bomb. All right, so time to say goodbye to the tower. Here we go. Let's go ahead and slow-mo this. Boom! Oh, yes. Wait. Does C4 need to be triggered or... Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't even think about it. The the tanks are empty. Yeah, that's pointless. Yeah, the... Oh. Never mind. Kind of thought the tanks were empty because the, the flame... Yeah. Never mind. That's... Yeah, it's completely fine. That that works. <laughs> it's a nice explosion there. They, am I trapped up here? Uh, do I still have... Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, this is great. Um, I think... Yeah, I could totally make it down this, right? There we go. Up on that one. Let's go down this one. We're getting a bonus round here. Up. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, <my> fire. no. <laughs> no. Go, go for the exit. Oh, no. I'm dead. I'm dead. That's awesome. I love this flame, though. If you can't tell, I'm really enthusiastic about it. Uh, 
Does that say something about my mental state? I'm not really sure. By the way, uh, Bob's got some new Fantastic Ragdoll animations, too. You'll probably see that more in the multiplayer episodes, but that is the flame, though. And you know what? I feel like we should probably... Man, there's tons of other tests that we could do right now. Like, see if we could burn buildings. I know you can burn the fuel tanks, and they'll explode after a little bit. Let me know what you guys think. What kind of tests would you like to see? What, what type of things would you like to see with the flamethrower? Obviously, I know tower survival was going to be number one, but I'm pretty sure some sort of battle will be number two, which will really just be burning each other, but it, I mean, it's okay. So I got one last thing we're going to do here. All right, it's everybody's favorite character. It is Ragdoll Rob. Now, of course, we've got to do it. I mean... It wouldn't be fun if we didn't. Let's go ahead. We're going to grab some explosives. He's got a new pair of shoes today. So let's go. Boom. That's going to have... Yeah, we'll keep the rocket fuel in there. That sounds great. I don't think it's going to take much to ignite him. So let's go. <laughs> oh, no. This is going to be bad. Uh, we've lit him on fire before with the fire starter. But I feel like it's going to be a little bit more satisfying with a flamethrower. Can we, like, halfway put this in him? Like that? Oh, that works. Okay. So boom. Boom. I'm pretty sure Rob's got a seat in him, so let's just go ahead, switch that to action one, action one, and then we're going to switch it over to rocket fuel. Yes, buddy, you've got a brand new pair of shoes here, Rob. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs. Uh, covering more of the update, we've got more things coming up. I know we want to do zombie mode again and show you guys uh, some of the more physics with the ragdolls. Uh, of course, uh, once the update officially hits, you'll see some uh, really cool creations. I imagine everything's just going to get even more detailed than it already is, which it's already amazing. But yeah, uh, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support. Let's go ahead. Yep. Oh yeah, this is, this is great. Yep, those are some hot shoes there, Rob. Let's give him a second. Let's put him in slow-mo here. There we go. That's nice. Uh, okay, I think we're out of... Yeah, I think we're out of rocket fuel. I was about to say propane. Uh, oh, no! Oh, no! Okay. I didn't think about the fire getting to the tanks, did I? Well, we just blew him in half. So it's like half fire, half exploding Rob. All amazing. There's uh, Bob's in the middle of that, just flying around with his new ragdoll self. But yeah, thank you guys for all the love and support on this episode of Brick Rigs, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.